Now let's look into the causes of late onset stridor, acute epiglottitis. Acute epiglottitis is a rapidly progressing infection causing inflammation of the epiglottis and tissues around the epiglottis that may lead to abrupt blockage of the upper airway and may cause death. Coming to the general features, causes mainly bacterial infection of which most common organisms are Streptococcus pneumoniae, Streptococcus pyogenes and H. influenzae. Clinical features include high grade fever, toxic look, inspiratory strider since epiglottis is above the vocal cords, drooling of saliva as the patient is not able to swallow anything. Typical posture shown by the patient is the tripod position as he takes respiration in sniffing dog manner. Let's see how to investigate it. The investigations. Diagnosis is mainly on the clinical grounds and indirect laryngoscopy is generally avoided since the epiglottis is already inflamed and any further irritation may cause choking. Hence, after the stabilization of the child and on the basis of the clinical suspicion, we may order X-ray. X-ray neck lateral view shows thumb sign as shown here. X-ray looks as if somebody is poking his thumb into the neck as here. Definitive diagnosis is by microbiological culture test. Let's finally see the treatment. Seeing the potential threat of choking, we do elective intubation in severely ill child. On the other hand, we immediately start IV fluids and also add IV antibiotics to it in order to kill the pathogens. Rest, we take other supportive measures as needed. Now let's see the second cause of the late onset strider, acute laryngotracheobronchitis or LTB in short. As the name suggests, larynx, trachea and bronchus all are involved in this condition. The disease starts from the larynx and gradually goes down to the bronchus. So does the strider. Let's see the cause first. The cause of the acute LTB are mainly viruses of which most common being para-influenza virus. Coming to the clinical features, clinical features are similar to viral prodrome that is fever, malaise, fatigue and weaknesses with addition of a characteristic cough which sounds like a barking of seal for which the name croup is given. Coming to the strider, strider is initially inspiratory as the disease starts in the larynx and then gradually becomes biphasic as the disease descends and involves other parts. Another characteristic is the X-ray finding which shows steeple sign as can be seen here. Now let's see the treatment. The treatment of croup is with respect to the presence of abnormal inspiratory sounds. If absent, then we consider croup to be mild and suggest conservative management. Also, dexamethasone can be given as oral dose. If strider occurs only on exertion or crying, then we consider it as moderate croup and start dexamethasone and consider racemic epinephric nebulization, that is, taking epinephrine mixture through inhalation. But if strider is present even on rest, then severe croup should be suspected. An immediate dose of dexamethasone and recipic epinephrine nebulization should be started. If patient improves, we can continue with this. But if above therapy fails, then we give a heliox, which is helium oxygen mixture as inhalation. Because helium being less denser than room air, hence easily carries oxygen from narrow inflamed part of the alveoli. Here we complete our topic on strider. In case anything you didn't understand or anything more you want to be covered in the topic of strider, do comment below. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Much more on the way. Till then, stay tuned.